Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So there's been a ton of new subscribers to the channel recently, which is absolutely awesome. So I thought it'd be a nice time to do a video like this because I don't think I've done a video like this like literally since um, the first few videos I ever uploaded. Um, so I think it'd be quite a nice time. I'm just gonna take you inside the account, my first ever Shopify dropshipping account, and just show you what the first six to 12 months looks like for me on Shopify and actually dropshipping in the UK. So I'm gonna be showing you absolutely everything in this video. I'm gonna be taking you inside my Shopify dashboard here, as you can see, showing you the sales volume month by month, showing you the apps I used, uh, my Oblo accounts, my AliExpress accounts, so you can see all the is absolutely everything and just as we go through then just showing you why I sold certain products or why I used certain apps um, just to give you guys a, an idea then of how I did it because I still say it today the best way to become successful at anything is to replicate what somebody has done so I'm going to be showing you the store itself as well um, I still pay for the subscription for this plan for this store as well so it is still live you can still go out and find it so I will be showing you the URL so if you do ever get stuck or you need product ideas or or you're not sure how to do a layout or product descriptions, whatever it is, then this site is still live, so you can still use it even today um, as a reference point. So that's the topic of the video anyway. Thanks for tuning in. Um, before we get into it, I just wanna quickly mention, as always in every single YouTube video, I give away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me. So a chance for me and you to speak one-to-one. -one. You can ask me whatever you like, whether it's Facebook ads, um, you want your store reviewing or help picking certain products, whatever it is, I can help you out. Um, and if that's something that you want a chance to win then all you simply have to do is dead easy is simply like the video and leave a comment down below if you commented on my previous video then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced and with that being said then guys let's get straight into it so the first thing i want to show you guys then is the sales numbers because obviously that's the most interesting thing and the first month i want to show you then is october because this is the month then in which i started making a significant amount of money and was the month in which i decided to start writing my resignation letter. By the end of October then, I'd handed in my resignation letter um, to my boss at the time, and we agreed that because at that point I was in quite an important role, I was managing one of the biggest accounts for that company at the time, that I agreed to stay on till the end of the year, and my one of my, la I think my last day was the 22nd or 23rd of December, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember now. Um, so yeah, so this was pretty much within the first few months of starting dropshipping, I was fortunate enough to be making um, a decent amount of money to the point where I could quit my job. However, that wasn't my first month then. If take you all the way back to June 2016, so June was my first month then. You can see I did a little bit over 30 pounds in sales. Absolutely nothing impressive at all, but at that point, it doesn't really matter. In the beginning, it's all about motivation and it's the little wins that make the difference. So the fact that somebody had actually come onto my store because I'd driven traffic from Facebook ads, um, it meant a lot. It meant I could see the potential in this business model and it gave me the motivation to spend even more on ads, which I did in July. So if we take a look at July, um, I did 357 pounds in revenue. Um, again, nothing crazy impressive. I think I even made a loss this month, but to me, it didn't really matter. I saw consistent sales coming in every single day um, by these few days here, as you can see. But to me, it was enough for me to see the potential in the business model and actually think, right, if I can get my head around Facebook ads and become a bit better at marketing, then then I can actually turn this into a profitable business. And because I hated my nine to five job so much at the time, then I was willing to do whatever it took um, to make it work. So again, I decided to scale things, invest a bit more money into ads. And then in August is where things started to go pretty decently for me. So in August, then this is when I first started to make a profit. If we just have a look at the ad manager account for this store. Um, so August, 2016, then I spent 530 pound on ads, um, 1200 in revenue, 2.4 run ROAS. And if I remember rightly I made about 500 pounds profit at this point so again nothing crazy impressive but it was enough to motivate me to keep going and spur me on um, to keep investing more money put more time into researching and learning and like I said at the beginning that is all it is all about you can't expect to spend a week learning a business model and then become a millionaire it takes time and it takes effort it takes learning um, and the only way in which you keep up with that learning and that effort and that time is if you have the little wins, the motivation to keep you doing that every single day. So an important tip for all the beginners watching this video is find something that motivates you to work on 
your side business, whether it's drop shipping or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Find whatever motivates you and then incorporate that into your day. It sounds stupid, but what I used to do is watch videos of supercars on YouTube before I did work or if I wasn't feeling it that particular day, because watching a YouTube video of a supercar and the people who own them, that was enough to motivate me and like build my energy levels to the point where I was motivated enough to work my business. It sounds stupid, but trust me, it will make all the difference. If you can find what motivates you, you'll find it a lot easier. So this was September then. This is where things like went from strength to strength. Um, it seemed like at this point, the more money I invested into Facebook ads, then the more money I made in return. Um, and this was actually a really profitable month for me too. In fact, if we take a look at my ad manager account, uh, so 1st to the 30th. And we can see, so I spent 1600 on ads um, and did a 3.27 ROAS. So at this point, things were very profitable for me. In fact, in this month, I think this was the first month in which I made more money than my actual job did. And this was like my third or fourth month dropship. And so you can imagine how excited I was at the time. And again, it just motivated the hell out of me to continue doing more research, continue learning. Always be learning, guys. Never, ever take your foot off the accelerator. I know as corny as it sounds, it's 100% true. The next thing I want to point out as well is the product um, so far up to this point it's always been this product in case you haven't noticed so you don't need a ton of different products then to make some decent money you will literally only need that one winning product um, and that can be the difference in between the job you're working now and doing drop shipping full-time like it really can be that much um, so things again continue to go well and then October was kind of like the point in which things started to become very real for me and I started thinking about quitting my job and like I mentioned earlier it was actually in October in which I wrote my resignation letter again it was the same product this same bracelet it's literally the same bracelet it's just different charms um, in terms of profitability if we just take a look at my ad spend for October um, I think the ROAS went down in this month it did so I spent nearly 10 grand on ads but the product is dirt cheap you can still go onto AliExpress and find this product now so 10 grand on ads and 20 grand in revenue um, I can't remember how much the product total cost was but at this point I was making like four five six grand a month clear profit and after taxes that was still pretty much triple what my job was making me so at this point it seemed like an absolute no-brainer to go ahead and just quit my job but I come to kind of like a dilemma at this point because because the shipping times can be quite unreliable when it comes to drop shipping shipping from china then at this point i kind of i kind of knew that if i wanted to quit my job and see an income for the next couple of months without risking like at this point i knew things were going well because people were ordering things for christmas right mm -hmm. and i knew that if I was drop shipping items still, that certain items would be arriving after Christmas, probably from this point onwards. So this was when I decided to start sourcing products in bulk to make sure that I could sell consistently all the way up to the Christmas period and still make a decent income through November and December. So if we now look at the total products, you can see that the LED light up color starts to creep in because that's the product I started to test and experiment with. And because again, it was going well and it was a more expensive product, I could sell that products for 10 to 20 pounds whereas these bracelets here i was selling anywhere from five to ten so i was making more profit per order um, and they were selling well so it just seemed like the ideal um, product to go ahead source in bulk and that was going to be my product moving forward then so november i only did half the revenue but that was purely become down to stock levels and the fact that i didn't want to ship out a ton of orders right before christmas um, just in case they didn't arrive and then if we have a look at december sales again continue to be pretty Pretty good i did nearly 10 grand considering i didn't sell from the 22nd of december onwards um, and at this point you can see it's all led light up colors in terms of profitability then let's have a look at my ad manager account now the reason the revenue was so low is purely because at that point i didn't have enough money in the bank to order enough product to sell as much as i wanted to do i had to limit how much i was spending on facebook purely because i just didn't have the stock levels so anyway in october we missed out november but let's just have a quick look and um, i spent 4.6k 2.0 ROAS, which was pretty nice and then in december i think it actually went down um, so i spent more to get less in return now that's because december is like the most competitive time in terms of facebook advertising just probably because every person in e-commerce is on there to try and sell their products and the reason it's so low then is purely because of how competitive the space is and plus because i wasn't spending that much money like to spend five grand over december in one of the most competitive spaces in my opinion on facebook is not a lot of money and therefore that's why my ROAS is so low um, and that's partly the reason why i 
don't mind showing you guys um, the fact and telling people that I actively sell LED light up collars because it is in a competitive space, one of the most competitive spaces. And for somebody to come in there and actually make a difference to the market, they're going to have to spend a significant amount of money. So anyway, that was the first six months in terms of dropshipping. In terms of the apps I use then, I think I've been talking for like 10 minutes already, but these are the apps that I use then. Um, I haven't added any, I haven't removed any. You can see I've still got MailChimp, even though the integration no longer works. So all text was for SEO purposes. Crush picks was to make my site load faster. So you can have a lot more higher detailed images and this just make this just compresses them so your page load times um, decrease basically easy contact form self-explanatory email signatures this was really cool um, basically what it does is you can create like logos and stuff to put at the bottom of your emails just so you come across as a more professional company basically fraud filter then it was just like an added filter you can add to all of your orders get rated on top of what the Shopify rating system is um, free shipping bar by Hextum is in fact I can show you if I show you the store so free shipping bar by Hextum is this blue bar at the top I recommend in fact doesn't matter what store what niche you're in that's something that you have that installed um, what else do we have we've got kudo buzz SEO so that's an SEO app MailChimp we've got a map so at the point I had a premises for this business so I had like a Google map on my store so people could see where we were located um, Oberlo is Oberlo plugin SEO another SEO app um, product discount was which was a pretty cool app to be honest I'm not sure how much it is now um, I paid a hundred pounds back in the day for it and you get like permanent access to its features and basically what you can do is you can set discounts for certain products over a certain time period periods. Next one then was product reviews. Back then I wasn't using looks, I was just simply using the Shopify standard one. Product upsell is a must have app, not necessarily this app specifically, but definitely an upsell app. SEO image optimizer, again, another SEO app. Um, size matters, so this was a size chat. So for certain products that required a sizing guide, um, this was the app I used just because it looked the most professional when I integrated it into my stores. And then finally, I had a social sharing buttons app so I could share things like my Facebook links, Instagram links, um, just nice and neatly and tidily um, within my store. Next then, let's have a quick look at the analytics, probably because um, a lot of people say that you have to work on 3% conversion value, but in my opinion, I think that's completely wrong. Um, I think this store averaged like almost double that if we just take a quick look. Uh, where are we? Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Let's go July 2016 to June 2017 apply that um, and as we can see so yeah almost a six percent conversion rate so in terms of actual working on three percent basis if you've got a decent product and you're running decent ads then you can actually achieve a lot higher percentage conversion rate another thing worth pointing out as well is the fact that the majority of this traffic come from or orders in fact come from the uk as you can see there um, online store sessions as well was mainly mobile devices in fact there's quite a significant amount by tablet as well which i didn't realize that's quite interesting um, it's all through facebook as you can see um, a little bit through instagram but that was just through my profile and then we've got more sales data and online store traffic sessions etc so the next thing i want to show you then is actually inside my oblo dashboard although there's not really a lot to show you um, you can see the kind of like top five products um, again i don't mind showing you these in fact i'm going to block out one of these because i still sell this actual product today so i don't want to reveal that one just yet um, and then moving on there's not really a lot more to show you guys there what i do want to show you though is inside my aliexpress account because this is important this is how you fulfill your orders so this is my orders within my aliexpress account um, if we scroll to the bottom you can see this is every single order for this store um, and if we go to the bottom you can see there's 129 different pages of different orders so what I used to do then is have somebody fulfill all of the orders but then not pay for them so what would they they would do is they would preload the order into Aliexpress but before they go ahead and click that final button to pay for the order they would access they would exit the process they would literally just click off of Aliexpress open up a new one um, and then process the next order and what would happen is when you come into your all orders screen here we'll just let this load back up again here we go so once you come to this screen which was the screen we were just on then this awaiting payment here would have how many orders wherever whichever how many orders that are actually awaiting payment and you just simply click on that and if there's orders in here then it will give you an option to pay for all orders in one go so one of the common problems i had when i first started was the fact that i think my bank limited my card to 
Um, I can't remember, I think it was 20 or 30 transactions per day. So this was a really good way of avoiding that problem. And this is exactly how I work with my VAs. And a lot of people say that they don't wanna give away their card details to people they've never met or people in the Philippines, wherever it is, but you don't have to because you don't have, an, you don't have a card on your account. You simply get them to load the orders up and then you go on there, make your final checks, make sure you check two or three um, random orders just to make sure they correspond and they're correct. Um, and then go ahead and place all of your orders all in one go. To finish the video off then, I'm just gonna show you the store itself. Um, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it though, to be honest, purely because you guys can go out and check out this same exact website if you so choose. But just to kind of show you the actual website itself, and if we take a look at the actual product page itself, um, it's very simple and basic. However, it's neat and tidy um, and it served the purpose. And as you can see, it produced the results as well. In case you're wondering what this is then, these are comments embedded from the actual ad itself. What I found was that people would actually come back and leave a review within the comments and actually post images and pictures of their dogs wearing the product as well, which is just absolute social proof gold. I still do this today on every single store of mine. Um, and actually when I implemented this, um, implemented these comments it actually made a big difference to my conversion rate as well um, and more and more people started to do it as well so it's just a win-win all round so definitely one of the things um, I recommend you do in your store and definitely one of the things I'll show you how to do inside my course as well so with that being said then guys I think that pretty much just wraps it up in fact what I'll do is I'll just show you what it looks like on the mobile as well because as you just saw the majority of my business come from mobile because it doesn't really look that good on desktop but on a mobile device you can see it's all really clean neat and tidy um, and pleasing to the eye. And with that being said, guys, I've been talking way too long. I'm gonna wrap the video up there. If you're still watching, thank you very much. I really, really, really appreciate the support on the channel recently. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you got some value from it, all I ask is you simply leave a like. And if you want a chance to win that one-to-one -one consultation call with me, make sure you leave a comment down below as well. And with that being said, then let's announce the winner of the previous video. So this is the previous video. Um, why most people tend to fail in 2019. If you haven't watched it yet, please go go make sure you check it out. Um, people seem to be enjoying it anyway it's got 90 likes which is absolutely awesome so thank you very much for all the support um, i really do appreciate it by the way um, so anyway i'm going to take the video url um, head it put it into our youtube random comment picker um, click start and see who the winner then of the previous video is so the winner of the previous video then is this person here. Thank you very much for your comment. Make sure you reach out on Instagram then and we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just wanna get straight down to business and book a call right away, you can do so. Just make sure you check out the links in the video description below. And with that being said then, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.